Hi, Steve here. Thanks for joining us in this easy bet bot tutorial. The bot is being designed to be very simplistic and easy to use and to be used in a serious way, but also to be used in an entertainment way. If betting on the races, the greyhounds, the horses or cricket or football, if you want it for enjoyment, then this is an ideal thing. But then again, if you want to take things more serious, you can do it also with this bot. It's up to you. But it is uncomplicated, and that was made intentionally. There's so many good bots out there that do so many things. You can import Excel sheets. You can just about make a cup of tea and toast and everything with it. This is not what EasyBet Bot was designed to do. It's made to be very simple and to be able to get your bets on with a minimum of fuss and also, if you're betting in some of the markets that have lower liquidity, then it's allowing you to do that, which is something that, unless you want to take Betfair SP, you can't really do on the Betfair website. Or let's have a look. What we have here is the markets. So we can see here, this bot is, will bet on horse racing around the world, greyhounds around the world, cricket and football around the world. So those are the four forms of racing and sports that EasyBet Bot set up for. And once you open the bot, you'll see it, uh, a sign coming up saying loading markets. And depending on how many races or how many cricket matches or, or soccer there are, will take you know anything from a minute to maybe if you've got a slow internet speed, five or six minutes. So if you've got a races and that that you want to be betting on that day, don't wait until the last minute before you open the bot. Open the bot and just allow the uh, lay, uh, the markets to load. And if you have auto load ticked here, then it will auto update races and and matches into the future. So let's just have a look at the markets first. When we look at horse racing. If you wanted to do click the first one, you can go by country. We can see there Australia, India. South Africa through to the US, etc., Great Britain, and it comes up with the individual meetings. Or if you're using it on an individual basis of races, you can just click on the race cards and it will have the card in time order to your local time. Okay, so if you want to go from one race to the next race to the next race, it's very easy to do here in the today's cards. So that, and that is also the same for greyhound racing. You've got Australia, New Zealand, and Great Britain, and then they've got the individual tracks. Or you can just go to today's card, and there's all the races uh, in order. As you get down, you'll find we go from Australia, and then we go into the Great Britain races as well there. Okay, so that's the uh, four-legged animals out of the way. Now for the two-legged ones, in cricket, you've got test matches, whatever's on for the day there, or you can go to the cricket card. Now, the cricket card's great in that it gives you all the headings here, so you can just go down to whatever market you want and place a bet directly into that market. Okay, and that is the same with soccer or football. You've got it by country, so if you know you wanted a game in a certain country, you can just go straight straight to there and put your bet on that way or you can go to i'll just close that or we can go to the soccer card and there it is in time order so it has all the different markets that are available and you can just scroll down to the time frame that you want okay so that's how you uh, navigate the markets okay the next thing we move over here, this middle section at the top here is your wallet. So it tells you how much you've got in your wallet, your profit that you're making, the commission rate. Now you can put the commission rate in here. If you're betting on Australian horses or dogs, we recommend you use 8%. Commission does change from track to from state to state and from code, whether it be greyhounds, harness or gallops. If you're betting Australia can change. The software manual will take you to the manual that tells you all that I'm telling you now in the video. This green box here will take you to all of our automated bots. So if you want something a bit more complicated or a bit more automated, you can go there. And then the manual settings. These manual settings here 
will affect this area here. So if we go to horse racing today and go to a race that's not too far away here, it brings up the market here and we can bet directly from here. So don't doubt her. We can just click on here and it will bet. But first of all, before we do that, just see here, we've got, we can put whatever figure that we're going to be betting today on here, but we can override it. It's just a figure there and same with laying. And we, if we put tick the confirm box, what will happen is, and I'll leave it ticked, a box will come up to say if we want to confirm it. And it's best to have that because you can change the stake. So if we go to um, Don't Doubt It, we can click on there. And you can see here now it's come up with the odds, this stake. And, for example, we might only want to put 50p or 50 cents on it. Then we can place the bet. We can tick it to keep it in play or we can place the bet. Now, this is the instant section, and that bet will be placed now. Even if the race is in 12 hours' time, it will still place the bet right now. We can see the bet's been placed. Okay, so this, as I said, is our instant section. So you go from race to race, and you pick your bets out and click on here and do exactly what you want to do. Okay, so that's the instant section. The API request here is how is just giving you how many requests per second it's sending back to Betfair. It's well within inside the data limit, so don't don't let that worry you. The next thing here is it's just telling you the time to the races, and then how much is on the race already. That is the instant section. Now, over on this side here is a section that a lot of people will use, and it's a great section if you want to have some entertainment for the afternoon or the night in racing, but you don't want the chore of going in and putting all the bets on uh, race by race or taking bet for SP. So what you can do here is you've got three sorts of bets. You've got back, lay, and Dutch. Now, the back and the lay give you different options. So if we go into back, for example, whatever market you pull into the middle here is what will show here. When I do this drop down here, we will see that Epic Decision is obviously over here. So in order to get the races that you want, you'd scroll through the markets here on the market side, click on the race, it brings it up here, and then you can go through and start picking. So we can go by individual horses here. If, for example, if we had our 10 horses or five horses that we wanted to bet on through the day, we can do it by the name, or we can pick it its position in the market. And this is it. It's positioned in the market at the time that we nominate here. See, time to bet. So if we put in pre-play and 60, at the 60-second mark before the off, the bot will look at the market to determine if you've got the third favourite. It will see which horse here is the third favourite in this race, and then it will place its bet. And we can set the minimum price that we want to accept and the maximum price we want to accept. Then we can put the minimum matched amount. So we must say a race must have more than 5,000 invested in it before we'll place a bet. If it doesn't, then we won't place the bet. We can put how many runners. We might say we want a minimum of six runners and a, and a maximum of 14. And if the race falls between six runners and 14 inclusive, then the bet will be looked at. So we've got the back or the lay. So the back and the lay are governed by these staking methods. So if we have this ticked here and we were to click on, for example, I don't doubt her, we can go on there and if we click, we've got, we're going to use a 50 cent bet. We click on place the program bet now, it comes up, your bet has been scheduled, click OK. We go to scheduled bets up here, and we can see there we are. We've got the bet. The odds we don't know yet. As long as the odds fit between what we've said, then the bet will get placed. If we wanted a lay bet, oh, if, sorry, if we're backing, we could also choose to back by profit. So we can put in there, for example, three. We want to make a profit of three. If we have three in there and place the bet, then the bet will be staked so that if, 
don't doubt her wins will make three pounds or three dollars whatever or we could click here and put if we put one it will bet one percent of the bank so if the bank's at 95 here it would place the bet at one percent of whatever the bank is at the 60 minute mark 60 seconds before the race starts okay so those three buttons here are for back and lay okay the last button down the bottom here is for Dutch betting and you put the profit in here for example if I wanted to make five pound profit I would put five in there and whatever horses of or whatever favorites I've got ticked here I'll just go to Dutch bet for example here now it will look at I've only got the second and third favorite and as long as I'm between uh, one and six and the third favorite is between one and seven then it will place the Dutch bet if one of those horses doesn't fit in that price range the whole Dutch bet doesn't get put on okay so it's not as if you're going to get stuck with one one horse and not the other so you can pick up to the first five favorites whoever you want in your Dutch betting and whatever your programs you've got there at the moment we've got three it will take it and this is the race if I did it now this is the race that it would be on so if I click on that click OK you go up to schedule bets you can see here that the scone race here is telling us it's Dutch bet we're betting on the third favorite and the second favorite so that's how easy it is to place your Dutch bet so you could go through the cards and put these on you could put 10 or 15 Dutch bets on and then just sit back and enjoy the races from an entertainment point of view if that's what you were going to do for the afternoon uh, without having to keep on opening your bet for account and putting bets on and you know that coming up to especially if you're using the favorites here like this with 60 seconds to go obviously the bulk of the money is coming into the market so it's going to more accurately reflect on um, the second favorite is what the public are thinking is the second favorite rather than the three hours out the markets can change dramatically to the off there could be some non-runners there could be anything the track uh, conditions could change late news could come out obviously of horses in the betting of their chances so with Dutch betting you get to choose the it by the favorite ranking from first to fifth if you wanted to do the traditional Dutch betting then you would need obviously to go and back the horses you'd still use um, either instant backing if you're going to do it but it has to be done like manually okay but still with this software you can bet if you had to put 50p on a horse then you could do that and it's all very quickly done the bottom down the, here is the current bets that are on right now so this is the bets that are actually in play up here we have the results so the results of all the bets that have been placed by the bot and it gives us the, the running profit total there schedule bets are the bets that we have you can see some are still active some have been cancelled and some have been settled the log this tells you exactly what the bot is doing you may have a Dutch bet and you're going well how come that Dutch bet didn't get put on and it will tell you here why and most of the time with Dutch betting it will be because the odds have not been met one of the horses has not fallen into the odds bracket that you have asked it to be in okay so that's that's the reason there so as I said the bot was set up to be simple and it is simple in the testing period I've had a lot of fun testing this and putting my bets on early and then just uh, having the TV running in the background while I do work as I said has given me great entertainment value and also the instant betting a lot of people find a lot of fun in here with instant betting having the bot open the TV on listening to the comments and putting your bets on accordingly can you trade on it it's not set up for trading it doesn't have ladders or anything like that but obviously it works pretty fast so you know it works faster than the uh, than the you can see it's just gone green now so this race here is now in action and we can see here we're into 10 seconds into it and you can see the markets changing so it's not set up for trading but yes you could do simple back delay sort of things like that 
but it's essentially for backing, laying, and then if you're using the delayed version, you've got the sick ear. Unmatched bets are just bets that haven't been matched there. If you have that open and you're waiting for a race to start, then that will come up here and tell you what, you know, what uh, bets are going through at the time. Also, uh, I must say, if you've got scheduled bets here and you've decided that you don't want them, uh, then you can actually go in and cancel them by clicking on it, saying, do you want to cancel this bet? And you can cancel it and it will take it out of there. And also, occasionally you'll get a bet down here that won't have listed in here, but it hasn't managed to get the price. And if it doesn't disappear, you can do the same. You can double click on it and cancel it out of here. Okay, so that's basically it. If you've got a question that I haven't answered, you can email us, but don't try and overcomplicate the fact this is an easy bot and a uh, very simple, straightforward and low and inexpensive bot. Okay, and if you liked it, don't forget to recommend some of your friends that, that they may be interested in this bot. So on behalf of Michael, myself, Steve, thanks for watching this and uh, don't forget the software button up there if you need to get a written version. Uh, that software button will take you to all of our um, software manuals, so you can also have a look and see what the other softwares do. So thanks again, and uh, happy punting. Cheers.